Hi, boys and girls. Miss Linda here with our next seven minute Sunday school lesson. And uh, we're going to start talking about different ways that God loves you. And especially in this pandemic, we really want you to know that God loves you. So Miss Linda found a book from my bookcase that when my children were little, it says 100 ways to know that God loves you. It says God loves me, but I got it for my children. And so our first lesson is about that we know uh, and that you can know that God loves you because he blessed you with your very own family. And so right here is a picture that you may kind of recognize is Adam and Eve, that God created Adam to be the first man, and he gave Eve to be Adam's wife because God placed in each one of our hearts that desire to belong, to belong to a family because God didn't ever intend for us to be alone. So one of the ways that you can know that God loves you is that God gave you your own very special family, and he, you know, made made you purposely to be a part of that family with your mom and dad and your brothers and sisters. And God also actually gave you two families because you are part of the family of God. So all the, the people that, that belong to our church, we also are part of your second family and we all love you. So let me send you read to you a little bit about how God uh, created Adam and Eve. So, in Genesis, which is the first book of the Bible, uh, this is in chapter 2, starting with verse 18 through about verse 23. Then the Lord God said, it is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a help, helper for him who is just right for him. And it talks about God making all the animals and so that Adam could give, give names to all the animals. But then Adam didn't find a helper that was right for him, not among all those animals. So the Lord God caused him, Adam, to fall into a deep sleep. While the man was sleeping, the Lord God took out one of Adam's ribs and he closed up the opening that was in Adam's side. Then the Lord God made a woman. He made her from the rib that he had taken out of the man and he brought her to Adam to be his wife. And so see, God made the first family and and so he loves families and that's, and he planned us all to have our own very special family. So that's one of the ways that you can know that God loves you is he gave you a family, a mom and a dad and brothers and sisters, if you have them, but I bet you've got cousins and aunts and uncles and grandmas and grandpas and all of them love you. So Miss Linda really loves her family. Let me show you a picture now. They're all grown up now, but that's Tiger, my daughter, and that's Zach, who now is 20, and that's Alex, my oldest, and Miss Linda and Mr. Gary. And now let me show you a more recent picture because it's hard to get us all together, especially in COVID right now. But here they are, the picture of them more grown up. Okay, and you can see there's my grandson, Matthew, and there's his mommy, daddy, Tiger, and her husband, Benjamin. And then that's Zach in the middle, and then that's my oldest son, Alex, and his wife, Jill. And so they're very, very special to me, just like I know that your, your family is very special to you. But again, that's one way you can know that God loves you. So let me read one more Bible verse. This is from Psalm chapter uh, 68, verse 6. And listen to what it says. It says, God gives lonely people a family. So even if it's not their own, their family that maybe that they were born into, God gives everybody a family because that's one of the ways he shows us that he loves us, that he He made us want to belong to a family and then he gives us a family. Okay, let's pray together. Dear God, thank you so much for loving us. Thank you for loving these boys and girls and thank you for giving us all our own very special family so that as a way, one of the many ways that you show how very much you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys take care. God loves you and we love you. Bye-bye.